good morning welcome to a new vlog you guys loved the home tour and reno plans and enjoyed seeing how the floor plans look and things like that so i'm going to continue to do that in the future i'm also struggling with sharing different projects right now because the um, different hardware stores are curbside pickup only and i like to go in and actually look at the different products so i'm hoping to figure out what to do in terms of that and ordering online so that i can share more projects with you i also have a bunch of deliveries coming this week which i will obviously share with you which are exciting and then i have been obsessively looking at this instagram account that has all these different cleaning hacks so i'm gonna share those with you um and hopefully uh, in the future, I'll be able to share more design progress and ideas as I come up with them for our house. So let's get started on this week. I'm feeling frustrated today. So my H&M order showed up. And the only thing, like I could tell when it was delivered, it was just like a really thin box. And it was a shirt that was the wrong size. It wasn't the size I ordered. They sent me an extra, extra small um and to be honest it does fit just not the way i wanted it to so that is frustrating but i was only given one tracking number and remember i was supposed to get my vases so i tried to look it up and in their shipping email at the very bottom it said canceled items and it listed to the two vases i've gone onto their website i know that the smaller i think it's called medium vase is still in stock so i don't know why my other one was canceled so that is super frustrating and I did call them and they said that if I ordered that medium one again, that they would refund me the shipping, which they've done, so that's nice. But I posted about this on Instagram and my friend who I've been helping with her whole home reno, hers are both shipped and um, other people have said theirs have shipped and of course I ordered mine first, so that's a little bit frustrating, but anyways, there's worse things going on in the world. Um, not to worry about and she did say that I could um, possibly get hers from her so that would be nice but um, I feel bad stealing it so we'll see. In other news I'm going to do a DIY. I'm hoping to make it into a reel but I'm worried it's gonna be too boring so um, if not you guys will get to see it but because I need to use my iPhone for the reel I'm going to try using the camera my mom lent me to film the rest of the video on so i'm not sure how the quality is going to be but i thought i would test it out so i decided that i would do a walkthrough of a diy that i'm making into an instagram reel so i have got a vase from the dollar store baking soda paint an old yogurt container paintbrush and some popsicle sticks to mix it all up so i'm gonna make this vase look more of like a terracotta pottery sort of look by mixing the paint and baking soda and then I've got that box so that I don't make a mess of my table. What you need to do is mix three quarters of a cup of paint with a quarter cup of baking soda and from there you just paint it onto the vase and I used a yogurt container to make sure that um, I didn't make a mess of any dishes that I had. So I just want to show you the texture after one coat. I think the camera is capturing it pretty well. Um, so I'm going to do one more coat just because you can see through some of it since I didn't paint the inside. Um, maybe I should paint the inside. I don't think so though. Just the lip like I've been doing. So I'm going to give it one more coat. Here is how the vase turned out. So you can see it's got kind of a pottery texture and I think that it looks good on a book stack or in a bookcase or just as a decorative item. But because I didn't paint the inside um, beyond the lip, I could technically fill it with water if I wanted to, but I would just be careful not to get too much water on this because it might come off. 
So a delivery that I've been waiting for has arrived. Um, so I ordered two of these little ottomans. Only one has showed up, but it looks so similar to the Studio McGee Target one that we can't get in Canada, except it has storage in it. Um, so the other one is coming soon, hopefully, and then um, I can probably put two of them there but um, Chris really wanted it to put his feet up on, so that looks amazing. So I was working away and I got a text alert saying that my Wayfair texts had been stopped and to opt back and do whatever. I thought, okay, maybe because my one ottoman was delivered and they didn't have tracking info for the other one, maybe that was why. A few minutes later, I get an email saying that my email address for my Wayfair account had been changed to something to do with Emma Watson, not my email. So I was like, uh, okay. So I try to go look at my Wayfair because I have close to a thousand items saved for different projects other than my own that I'm working on. Sure enough, I can't get in. So then I start to panic because I'm like, oh my goodness, all that time that I have spent over the last few years saving items, gone. Then, as I'm trying to figure this out, I get a PayPal alert that someone has spent close to $700 on Wayfair on my PayPal. So now I'm panicking. So I called Wayfair. They were able to sort it out. In the meantime, I disputed the transaction on PayPal. Um, Wayfair canceled the transaction. I saw that the person in Quebec tried to order a foosball table and Wayfair was able to get back my account, but then I spent the next hour trying to change my passwords because they're all saved to my Google account, I think. Um, it tells you when a password was compromised and it said three months ago a particular password of mine was compromised and there are 40 other instances where I'd use the same password. And I didn't take it seriously because I thought, why would it be compromised? Anyways, it was like a data breach or something. I don't know where or what. But so then I spent the next hour trying to change all my passwords. So if you ever get that alert, take it seriously because someone's going to try and hack your account and use your PayPal to order stuff but i um, glad that ended up a little bit better than I was expecting it to. I didn't think I'd get my Wayfair account back. I knew I'd get my money back, but I got everything back and sorted and it was just a bit of a panic for an hour or so. I ordered a tension rod to try in the bathroom with the cafe curtains and the intention was I would try it and if I liked it, then I would actually make the curtains look a bit better and do pleated ones on rings so right now it's just obviously gone through the pocket and that's why it's black but eventually there will be rings but i think it looks pretty good i like the light that can come in obviously it's dark right now but this morning i was able to get a better impression of it the one thing i noticed is those rooftop patios can technically see in if they're standing on the very edge of their deck. So, I don't know if they can actually see anything. So that is my one concern. I don't know. Also, I do have the rings that I could use, except they're too big. So if I do keep this, then I will have to get smaller rings because this is just a very small curtain rod. Um, and then I did take the blinds off of the top and I just stuck them underneath for now. So let's see where we end up on that. Plus I never said in the tour video what I was thinking of doing in this hallway space. So obviously there will be a door to the second or third bedroom there, but here I'm thinking of potentially a big antique wardrobe that could store linens or otherwise I was thinking of doing a really cool collage and like family wall of old historic pictures of people in my family. I thought that would be awesome, but I can also do that somewhere else. So I don't know. That is a decision that I need to figure out. I've mentioned this before, I believe, but I've been working on um, a friend's full home renovation project for over a year now and COVID obviously slowed down some things and now we're mostly just working on finishing touches like art, drapery, um, throw pillows. So I thought I would show you the throw pillow swatches that we have picked and um, 
her mom is going to be making their pillows as well as their curtains for them. And she's gonna make me a pillow because one of these fabrics is my favorite. So this is the color that they have on their sofa because they have a little kid and didn't want to go with a white sofa. So that looks amazing. They already had that. And then these are the different fabrics we've chosen for the throw pillows. So this one is my favorite. It's going to go on their two armchairs. There's going to be two lumbar pillows. And then there's going to be some square pillows on the sofa. So I just love all of the different textures that these fabrics have this you can't really see the color very well but it is a green and then this is what they're going to have on their windows so that is looking amazing and her mom is going to make me an extra pillow of this because i am obsessed so obsessed that when i decided to place my drapery order i already knew that she was so kindly making me a pillow of that for my living room um, even though things aren't finished, I knew that I wanted to incorporate that fabric. Um, so when I ordered my drapery fabric this week, um, I ordered the curtain material that I showed you last week that is like a creamy off-white as well as the lining fabric and then the rods. Um, I ordered a little tiny bit of that fabric to recover Lily's bed. It sounds ridiculous, but... Um, we have a bed in the living room and I thought it would be cute for it to match everything else in there. So I'm going to, funnily enough, recover that for her. Um, so Chris and I are going to go pick up that fabric now. Um, and the reason we're having to pick it up and not have it shipped is because the rod that goes in the living room, mounting it is going to be a little bit challenging just because it's such a long distance and there's the walls either side of the window and then the molding, we needed to mount it and not have a center mount. So I needed a continuous pole and if I ordered that pole to be delivered, they were gonna cut it in half. So that is why we're picking it up, but it isn't too far. Um, it's a 20 or 30 minute drive, so that should be fine. And I'm hoping that it fits in the car. Just trying to sew this cat basket and the cat got in it. You remember him, surely, that famous fount of all medical knowledge. So my friend ended up giving me her vase and it looks so good. Let me see if I can get a better view of it. Looks so good with the faux olive branches and then her mom finished making the pillows and that looks so good so excited i think it all just looks so great in our room with all of the colors plus i didn't show you that i finished lily's bed so eventually when we have our new sofa it's all going to look amazing so for a walk and found the coolest spot um i will give you a quick look because looking behind me doesn't do it justice see the entire city on this side and then on the other side you can see brickworks it's called Chester Hill Lookout it's just in a little neighborhood it's a new day and I am going to try stripping the towels today so these pink towels I have had since second year university they're very old and i am intending to replace them soon but decided it'd be interesting to see how the water looked after a few hours of stripping those towels so i'm going to do that if you didn't catch it yesterday you do one scoop of the tide there is a scooper in there then a quarter cup of the borax and then a quarter cup of the arm and hammer washing soda so I got all of these from No Frills. Um, they weren't that expensive, maybe like six bucks for each of these. The most expensive was this, it was 22 and they didn't have a smaller one. Otherwise, of course I would have purchased it, but I know there are smaller boxes available. So 
I'm gonna strip all the towels. I'm also gonna put my face cloths in there. I always use these little baby face cloths and I think that quite a bit of dirt will come out of those because I use them to wash off my makeup. Also, while that's stripping, I think there's a few other things that I should do. Um, I want to give this floor another clean and then I have the sealer that I never used. So I think I'm going to give that a go. And then also I saw a technique to clean shower glass. So I'm going to mix up that concoction and hopefully do that. Also, here is this curtain in daylight. Of course, I told you guys it's not the, the curtain isn't permanent. I'll make it a bit nicer, but look at how nice and bright this bathroom is. It's way better than with the blinds. Plus, you can see it's hanging out because Lily discovered that she can go behind and look out the window and see all the squirrels. The plan of action is to take everything out of here that is maybe on the floor or on the surfaces, and then I'm going to give it all a humongous clean and seal all the tile, which is something I've put off for weeks. And if you've been watching all of these vlogs, you know that the tile cleaning was probably one of the first or second vlogs that I did. So you know that this has been put off for like two months plus. So really need to get that done. But of course I need to clean it once again before because it is a million times better than it once was, but you can still see there's still dark bits. So I'm going to get working on that. And then ideally I would really love to buy some silicone so I can reseal along there and along the shower as well. But because the hardware stores are curbside pickup only, I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to do that, but maybe I'll give them a call. So I am going to clean my baseboards as well as my shower right now and i started following go clean co recently and they basically said fill the whole spray bottle mostly with vinegar and then add one to two tablespoons of the blue dawn and it helps clean lots of things so i'm gonna spray that to my shower door i'm gonna open the window so that i'm not breathing in the vinegar because that is not good for your lungs I got myself into a little bit of trouble. So I um, completely filled the bottom of this with water and then put some cleaning product in it. And then I was also mopping the floor um, at the same time with this, which I should not use once it's sealed, but I know that it would help get the dirty color out. And well, Chris yelled up that the kitchen had water dripping from the ceiling. I think it's from the shower because I have washed this floor before a few times without any trouble. The one time intensely and the other times just mopping. So I don't think that that's what it's from. I think it's from filling the bottom of the shower because I filled it up, not overflowing over the lip, but like a decent amount so that I could get all the dirt and whatever out. But he doesn't think, he thinks that the water was more coming from here. Of course, we've had the bath filled before, so we don't think it's that. Honestly, I wasn't really getting any water near the back wall here. So I truly think the seals in this shower are broken and that it was pooling because the seal along here, and it was because it's on an angle, it was going out above the door downstairs. Unless I'm in trouble. Um, I also switched to these bottoms because I'm going to take the towels and put them in the laundry and then I think I'm gonna try soaking our Lululemon stuff because all of our, my leggings and Chris's pants need, um, well, I wanna try it because I think that's where I'm seeing most people with their laundry stripping having the most dirt but I'm not convinced that it's not dye. I know it Lululemon and high quality, it shouldn't have that, but I'm not convinced. So I'm gonna try that next. So I'm changed into these bottoms. Um, and this does look dirty, but not super, super gross. So we'll see. So you can see where that little 
crack here is that's where the water was coming from and i recall that was already there so i think this was an issue in this house previously um so that is the water at least it's clean and has cleaning products in it but super annoying it's getting progressively worse look at it anyways um so our Lulu stuff is in here, it's all black. So we'll see how dirty the water gets. Some things to note is that every hour you're supposed to come back and give it a stir. So I've been doing that, but I don't think I mentioned that you need to do that. So I just wanna point that out. Okay, so I think it's been about four hours. Look at how gross the water looks. So I'm going to um, take these out and then we can just take another look at the water because I'm not sure if the leggings are making it a little darker than it is, but we will see. Okay, look at how gross that water is. Like I, These were all clean Lululemon items and that water looks muddy and disgusting. I can't believe that even when you wash your clothes that there's so much buildup that ends up in there. It shows you that a washing machine does not do a good enough job. So now I'm going to have this obsession I'm stripping my laundry. Um, so I'm gonna go put these in the washer uh, and then I'm probably gonna strip other things, but I will spare you every stripping moment of my life. Lily's sleeping in her new basket. Yeah, and that takes a lot of trust. I agree with this. Got a nice fire. Anything goes wrong as a problem. Not so nice. Right. Good morning, happy Sunday. I am just about to get ready for the day. Um, make sure today's vlog is ready to go. This clip has got to be inserted and make sure that I'm not missing anything because I find sometimes I start talking about something but don't actually do any intro, so I have to check that out. Um, but I was sent this package by Smashbox um, a few days ago, so I wanted to give it a try. So they included their Smashbox Halo, which is a tinted moisturizer with SPF. 25 as well as their primer which i've used before and this is great so i'm not sure if this is my color but i do love that it has spf 25 in it so i'm gonna give this a go and i'll let you know how that is um and i feel like i have more things to say to you so i will let you know as i start applying my makeup i'll also add that this was kindly gifted to me from smashbox um, and it is available on their website as well as Sephora and Shoppers Drug Mart. I'm not quite finished getting ready, but I will say that I really did love this. Um, it definitely gives my face more of a full coverage look. Um, and I also thought I would mention my favorite person for makeup inspiration and like just general inspiration um, is Victoria from In The Fro if you don't follow her. She has gorgeous fashion, but also um, her makeup is always stunning. And her eyebrows right now are like my favorite eyebrow inspiration. She has like the whole fluffy brow thing going on and I love it. Um, I also wanted to mention in the spirit of all of the laundry stripping and cleaning things, I also um, gave my hair a little bit of a clarifying shampoo um, last night. So this is what I love to use. I always use Live Clean because they don't have any sulfates in their um, shampoos, which if you have psoriasis or any skin issues, uh, that's definitely something important to consider. My hair is generally pretty easy maintenance. I mean, it's just straight like this. So if you have different hair than I do, um, definitely do a little more research before you use it. But um, it's an apple cider vinegar clarifying shampoo. I've been using it for a few years and removes all the buildup. So I did that. And then the rest of today, I've got quite a few things on the agenda that you won't see because I've got to post this vlog probably before it all happens. But I'm going to caulk all the way along here with the clear silicone that I bought, um, as well as in the shower. And I'm hoping to make sure that the shower is fully sealed because I know that some of the caulking has come off and that may be what led to the water downstairs. I really think it's just because I filled the shower base with so much water, but um, 
it's never happened before. So that's the only thing that I can assume um, happened. And I really need to seal the floor, but the problem is, is it needs to be dry and Chris still needs to shower and I have to cut his hair today and that really needs to be done in the shower. So I'm just not sure what to do, but it does need to be done. And I think that it needs like 24 hours or something to dry. So that is an issue, not sure what to do about it. There was also some buildup on here, especially on Chris's side from the previous people that I tried um, many things on it didn't work. So what worked was the Dawn and vinegar that I am now going to keep underneath because that works really well on this because this is not um not tile so i don't have to worry about not tile not uh, stone so i don't have to worry about ruining it as well it worked really well on the shower glass so i'm going to continue using that mixture it worked wonders um and i'm gonna finish getting ready I'm gonna wrap up the vlog here. Um, I'm ready for the day and I've gotta start all my boring and various tasks. I'm sorry that this vlog wasn't super exciting. Um, hopefully you enjoyed seeing a few things that um, I got this week and enjoyed the laundry stripping. I thought that was pretty interesting. So if you haven't tried it, you should try it. It's pretty cool. And if you have, let me know um, how it went because I know a lot of people tried this back in June. So I'd love to hear how you found it um and if you have done this before and what your experiences were but uh nonetheless i hope you have an amazing week and thank you so much for watching and if you made it to the end of this video that means a lot